a couple more questions here. Um, I guess so, uh, someone's asking a question. I guess they're poking around your website. What is adversary simulation? I mean, jump in on that, Lisa. Uh, sure, AdSim. Sure. Yep. AdSim is just quickly, we act as that adversary. Uh, we are on your network working directly with your response team or your internal IT team. Uh, and we're running those same same hacks, cracks that the bad guys are doing. And we're working with your team to see, is it, you know, what's being logged? What are the indications of the, of what we're doing? And can you respond to it? You know, would you be able to shut me down? Would you be able to react to me trying to get control of a machine, then pivot to another machine and ultimately trying to get to, you know, the, the critical IT assets? So that's us, us hand in hand. Um, you de you de directly learning from what the bad actors are doing and tuning your systems so that you can see what's going on and detect what's going on. I've seen okay. one of these in action, uh, Chris, and it's, it is pretty amazing. It's, our pen testers are going to go in there and try to attack uh, maybe a server in your DMZ. And they're sitting right there with you while you're looking at your console on your firewall. Did my firewall even see that? Why wasn't that logged? Why wasn't it blocked? I should have gotten an alert. Okay, now we got that far. Now let's go and it's as it's traversing through, we're checking every control along the way to make sure that you're configured correctly. So that's either blocking it, blocking it and logging it. Did it get to the SIM to create an alert? Why not? Let's get all those tuned. So we select different controls. So maybe it's an endpoint. Maybe we're trying to exploit an endpoint that's on the LAN with a known vulnerability. Why didn't the firewall drop that with vulnerability protection? Why wasn't that logged? Why didn't the endpoint agent catch, you know, catch that? Why wasn't that logged? So as we're sitting there with you while it's happening, you're checking all the controls and we stop right there and we work through tuning it and then try it again and try it again so that we know that it's right. So, and not only that, it's, it's a great training opportunity for the person or the team that's sitting there with our pen testers because they're telling and explaining why that worked. How did this get through? This is what happened. That was encrypted. You needed to decrypt here. As you can see, there's just a ton of things that are tested right then and there so you know that it's configured correctly. 